Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by. So my neighbor was going to throw away this 35 year old antique dresser. This is a full drawer dresser. I had it for five years now but was not sure what to do with it. So I decided to bring it out and give it some love and attention and bring it back to life. If you would like to find out what I do with this dresser, continue watching. So the first thing I'll be doing is putting all four drawers back together by using new screws and my drill gun and also using wood glue to attach everything back together and let it dry overnight. I'll be using painter's tape just to hold all the drawers together while I'll work on them. I'll be using a generous amount of Gorilla wood glue on all four drawers. Here I removed all the knobs from the drawers and set them aside and getting ready to spray paint them later on. I'm keeping all original parts so all I'm doing is just reinforcing everything back together. I wanted to keep the original board from the dresser on the back so I just decided to reinforce it by using small nails. After putting everything back together, I'll be given one coat of Mod Podge. This will actually help the spray paint stick much better. And I gave two coats of black spray paint. I decided to spray paint all the dresser drawers in white. I'll be using the same fabric that I used on my previous project. As you guys could tell, I have a theme going. I'll be placing the fabric in the center of the drawer, five inches apart from each knob. And I'm also going to clip it down. The fabric that I'm placing in the center is 5 inches wide and 8 inches long. I'll be adding one coat of Mod Podge underneath the fabric to hold it in place.
I will be repeating all the steps on all four drawers using the first one from the top as my guideline. I'll be using the same fabric on both sides of the dresser, attaching it with hot glue, and the measurements of the fabrics are 7 by 15 inches long. Once I got to the bottom, I just stretched the fabric, glued it in place, and glued the edges underneath. I also added five row gem wrap strips on the edges of the fabric on both sides of the dresser. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next, I'll be adding mosaic mirror strips on the front part of the edges of the dresser. The mosaic strips are self-adhesive, but the one coat of Mod Podge that I gave the dresser earlier would help the strips stick much better. So I got these shower hooks at Walmart for $1.99. Simply what I did was just snap them apart and I'm going to use them for my knobs for the dressers. I glue them in the center of each knob using a generous amount of crazy glue. Once I'm done with all the knobs, I'll be attaching them back using my drill gun. So I got these mirror feather decals from Dollar Tree and I'll be using the small ones to glue them on the white parts of each dresser. These are self-adhesive, but by adding hot glue, you'll have a better long-lasting hold. I also painted each drawer inside with blue acrylic paint for a better finish. And here is my finished look. I believe this came out so stunning compared to the train wreck it was before. This was such a fun project and easy to do. And I'm so glad that I took the time to bring this dresser back to life after all these years.
Thank you so much for watching this transformation. And don't forget to like, comment, share with friends and family. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more upcoming future videos. See you next time.